Welcome to our review on gravitational potential energy stores. So the first thing we need to remember here is that when we lift an object off the ground, then it has energy in its gravitational potential store. So what we actually generally say about that is that the object has gravitational potential energy. And that's given the shorthand code of a capital E with a little P to the bottom right. When we're considering what we need to do to actually lift an object, then in order to actually make the object move off the ground, then the force we need to apply to it has to be equal to the weight. So for example, if we had a box with a weight of 80 newtons, we would need an 80 newton force to lift it. And what we actually find is that the work we do on an object is going to depend on those two things we've looked at in a previous video, distance and the force. The next thing is we've got another equation we need to learn. So again, this is one on your list of equations you've got to know for your physics exam. So the change in gravitational potential store is the weight times the change in height. Now, that's not as bad as you may think, because if you have a look at the work done equation we've already looked at previously, that work done is force times distance, it's just the same thing. All we've done is we've changed the words work done to change in gravitational potential store. Weight is just a force and the change in height is just the distance. So if you know one of them, you know both of them. So to give you an example of the kind of question you could be asked here, a student of weight 300 newtons climbs on a platform that is 1.2 meters higher than the floor. Calculate the increase in her GPE. As always, when you're reading a calculation question, highlight, underline or circle the important bits of information as you read it. Second thing to do is always write down the equation you're going to use because that can be worth a mark on its own. So in this case, changing gravitational potential store is the weight times the change in height. Then we need to substitute in our values. So in this case, the weight is 300 newtons. The height is 1.2 meters. So our calculation is 300 times 1.2, which when we put that into our calculator gives us an answer of 360 joules. Another equation that we can actually use to calculate this change in the gravitational potential store is to do the mass times gravitational field strength times the change in height. Now, this is again an equation that you need to learn for your exam. And the way we can use that as shorthand is EP equals MGH. Bit of good news for you, though, is that if they're going to ask you to use the gravitational field strength, then they will give it to you in the question. So on Earth, that would be 9.8 newtons per kilogram, but you don't have to remember that they will give that to you in the question. So an example of the kind of question we could see on this particular calculation, a two kilogram object is raised through a height of 0.4 meters. Calculate the increase in GPE. The gravitational field strength of Earth is 9.8 newtons per kilogram. So as always with our calculation, as you read the question, circle, underline or highlight the important bits of information so you don't have to reread it again. Next up, we write down the actual formula we're going to use. So in this case, change in GPE is mass times gravitational field strength times the change in height. Then we can substitute in our values. So 2.0 times 9.8 times 0.4, put those into our calculator and then we get our answer of 7.8 joules. Hopefully at the end of this video, you can describe how the gravitational potential energy store of an object will change when it moves up and down. You can talk about the fact that work is done to overcome the gravitational force, and you can calculate the change in gravitational potential energy store of an object and remember the equation for that.